dear students today we have to get discussed over the most important topic of this session in history in chapter 2 this is battle of plassey 1757 this battle have most important place in indian history as from this battle the journey of the establishment of british empire in india begin so we have to get discussed over the consequences facts and figures related to this battle so first of all we have to get discussed over the causes of the battle of plassey among them the very first is fortification as you find in previous videos we get discussed that british came to india and get a farman from mughal emperor to trade with india and while trading they started to build forts forts are built for protection and for military activities so when british started to made fort in kolkata which is calcutta at that time nabab sirajuddaula become angry with him as they are increasing their power and creating threats for nabab second misuse of trade privilege as we discussed earlier in 1770 faruxier the mughal emperor had granted the british company a farman to carry on duty free trade means while trading they have not to pay any taxes in which states bengal bihar and odisha and in exchange of these things they have to pay 3000 rupees per year to mughal emperor okay but the english merchant started misusing this privilege they indulged in private trade means they just distribute their trade rights to indian merchants and earn a lot of wealth on the other hand they pretend that they are getting no profit while their trade and that's why they never paid this 3000 rupees to mughal emperor okay next they are instigating the hindu subjects of bengal province okay like here the name has been given kishan das even the name of uh, jagat set could also be mentioned here so british officials used the indian uh, what you called merchants and businessmen against nawab they pretended that nawab of bengal is a enemy of this businessman he didn't want so that the indian businessman could improve their economical condition and due to it most of the indian businessman started to shift towards east india company next capture and loss of calcutta so the previous circumstances lead nawab to punish whom east india company personals and that's why nawab attack to the british town and also capture the karim bazar okay and capture many of the british officials and soldiers which are have there and after that it's also going to capture fort of calcutta calcutta okay and as the historian write 
that uh, after conquering fort of Kolkata, Bengal's Nawab kept all the prisoners into one room, uh, what you called lockup, where many of the persons died of suffocation and this condition or incidents is considered as black hole tragedy. Okay? It is very important term to which you have to know. Due to this black hole tragedy, Nawab of Bengal have to uh, what you called condemned by even Indian rulers and British officials came from Madras to India both through route and through ocean. Okay? And recapture Kolkata. Okay? Though Nawab appointed his most uh, what you call favorable general Manik Chand as the controller or administrator of Calcutta fort, but Manik Chand do not follow the Nawab properly disobey him and due to the involvement of Manik Chand in corrupt activities, he could not create any threat to British officers and hand over the Calcutta fort to British officers easily. It is considered as uh, what you call most dangerous incidents for Nawab of Bengal. Okay? And also created a fear among Indian soldier about British soldiers. Okay? Next, capture of Chandranagar. Clive was afraid list from the French and that is why they capture Chandranagar. Okay? And after that, they succeeded in, in uh, what you call increasing their fear in India. Okay? <laughs> Next, that is conspiracies against Nawab. Englishmen do not involve in a struggle against Nawab directly. To get victory over Nawab, they get involved in conspiracies against him. They contact to Mir Jafar, which is the commander of Nawab's army, and they uh, what you call promised him to meet Nawab of Bengal. Even they made uh, what you called false statement to the Hindu bankers like Amin Chand, Jagasit, etc., that uh, after getting victory over Nawab of Bengal, they provided them huge amount and trade rights in Bengal, which could not be possible in the region of Nawab Sirajuddola. Next, that is immediate cause. So, you find that when the conspiracy was fully hatched, Clive charged Sirajuddola of violating the treaty of 9 January 1757. That has been signed when British men recapture Kolkata okay, or Kasim Bajar into a conspiracy with French and the Dutch. Okay? So, they claimed over Nawab of Bengal that it violated this treaty of mutual cooperation due to influence of French and Dutch people. Okay? The Nawab refuted his allegation and nevertheless Clive marched against him and the battle is held uh, between Kolkata and Patna. In the middle of these places, there is a place Plassey. Okay? The name of the place has been derived from the word Palace. That is the 
great saffron blooming flower and also the national tree of uh, what you call state tree of Uttar Pradesh. What the result of this battle? So in this battle, British army under Clive succeeded in defeating Sirajuddaula. Even Mir Jafar declared as the new Nawab of Bengal and company get a lot of wealth from the treasury of Bengal. And along with it, dual rule begin in Bengal. One that is financial that has been governed by East India Company and second of Nawab Mir Jafar. Now we have to know about the causes of the defeat of Sirajuddaula. Among them, the very first is Sirajuddaula has a lot of dispute with his family members for succession of the throne, as his grandfather died without declaration of throne. Though on the initiative of his grandfather, he become the Nawab of Bengal, but he have to fight with his own family member out of which Ghasita Begum was the most, uh, what you call most prominent person that has been making conspiracy against Nawab. Okay. Second, the English succeed dead in winning over prominent Hindu merchants and bankers like uh, Raja Ballav, Seth Amin Chand and Raj Durlav, along with it Jagat Seth, etc against the Nawab. Entire these persons cooperate with East India Company against the interest of Nawab Sirajuddaula. Along with it, Calcutta, after the capture from the English, was put under weak and corrupt officer. Name of the person is Manik Chand, to which I discussed before. That Manik Chand didn't fight for protection of Calcutta fort. Okay, that's why Englishmen have a, what you called psychological advantage over Indian tenants. Okay, no effort was ever made to help the French of Chandranagar against the British. If Nawab helped the French in annexion of Chandranagar at that time. When East India Company fighted with Nawab Sirajuddaula, then French also came in help of Nawab. But Nawab didn't care about the fight between French and East India Company. Mir Jafar's conspiracy proved quite disastrous. Nawab never took severe action against him and also tried his best to win the will of Mir Jafar, which could not be possible. If he punish Mir Jafar in its initial stage, then Mir Jafar never thought of being Nawab of Bengal. And due to it, Nawab have not to fear any type of problem. Next, the naval power and superior strategy of British also proved fatal for him. When they lost the battle in Kolkata, they get help from Madras even through naval forces and through infantry. So both these things gone in favor of East India Company and East India Company become succeeded in interfering political affairs of India after the battle of Plassey. Okay, now this video get over and if you have some confusion, you could ask it to me either in comment in WhatsApp group or you could also meet to me within the school during school hours. Okay.